Hello and welcome to World Watch on Oweleka TV. I am Michael Ekene. Former President Donald Trump suggested tapping Elon Musk, CEO of the social platform X, as the head of Potential Government Efficiency Commission during an August 12 interview on the app. After more than 30 minutes of delays caused by what Musk said was a distributed denial of service DDoX attack on the platform, the two turned to the topic of inflation and government spending. The CEO suggested forming a commission to ensure the country lives within its means, adding that he believes federal overspending is the root cause of inflation. The United States FBI said on Monday it was investigating after Donald Trump's presidential campaign said its internal communications were hacked and the campaign blamed the Iranian government. The former president said on Saturday that Microsoft had informed his campaign that Iran had hacked one of his websites. Trump said Iran was only able to get publicly available information. The FBI is also investigating an alleged hack targeting advices to the campaign of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. The Palestinian Health Ministry said Israeli forces shot dead a Palestinian man in the occupied West Bank on Monday, while the Israeli military claimed it had neutralized an attacker who fired at an Israeli. The ministry based in Ramallah said in a statement that 18-year-old Tariq Ziad Abdul Rahim Daoud was killed by the occupation forces bullets near the town of Azun, east of Gar Kilya in the northern West Bank. The Israeli military claimed in a statement that the alleged attacker had fired at an Israeli civilian who was in the city of Gar Kilya, despite Israel forbidding Israelis from visiting built-up Palestinian areas. Hideo Shimizu, a former member of Unit 731, the notorious Japanese Gem Warfare Detachment during World War II, acknowledged and apologized for the atrocities committed by the unit as he visited an exhibition hall in the northeastern Chinese city of Harbin on Tuesday. Shimizu 94 was among the last batch of Unit 731 Youth Corps members sent by Japan to Habin, where he spent more than four months witnessing the war crimes committed by the unit, including the cultivation of pathogens, live human dissections, and experiments. He fled China with the retreating Japanese forces on August 14, 1947. International Criminal Court prosecutors said Monday that they are actively monitoring events in Venezuela where security forces have launched a crackdown on the opposition in the aftermath of the nation's disputed presidential election. Forces loyal to President Nicolas Maduro have rounded up more than 2,000 people for demonstrating against the president or casting doubt on his claims that he won a third term in the July 28 election despite strong evidence he lost the vote by a more than 2 to 1 margin. Let's take a short break to come our stories on entertainment and sports. Follow us on our social media handles at Oweleke TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oweleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. Violet Affleck just wore the same dress that fans might remember Jennifer Lopez wearing while on a date with Ben Affleck. Here's what to know about Violet's outfit. Recently, Violet was seen wearing a dress that Lopez once wore, despite rumors of her dad and stepmom splitting. The Texas Rangers continue their East Coast road trip with a trip to Boston to take on the reeling Red Sox. Texas 55-63 lost two out of three to the New York Yankees in a series that turned into a Saturday doubleheader because of a Friday rainout. That's all we have for you on World Watch. I am Michael Ekene.